So, we all know that life is very difficult. It's full of struggles, it's full of pain, from relationships, to work, to family, everything. Injuries, we're just bombarded by stress. In a way, we're drowning in stress, I'll say. And in the modern age, like today, I mean, it's tenfold from what it was even half a century ago. So, <laughs> every day. And with social media, other problems, it becomes a havoc. Also probably, and maybe not even probably, but exactly, why we have so many of the health problems that we have today. It even affects me, for everything I do. But, that being said, the reason I'm making this video is uh, I wanted to share just three really simple tips that really help make my day. No matter how bad it is, like let's say I really badly injured my hand, even like right now I can't really do push-ups, something wrong, or you're just crippled, or maybe you had a really rough day, you broke up or you lost someone you cared about, really tragic. So you know those days where just nothing seems to go right, <laughs> you'd rather just go to bed and that's it, call it a day, you don't even want to live anymore, or even those times where you're just like, screw life, that's it. You lose that value of life. That's because you don't really see it, and you're bombarded by negativity. It clouds your judgment, clouds your vision. You don't see the positive anymore. When everything's in darkness, everything looks the same. There's nothing bright until you light up a little candle, even a little match. All the darkness in the universe or the world cannot be defeated even by a single flare of light. It will shine throughout the whole darkness. And that's what you should do inside yourself. But in forms of love and positivity. So going back to why I made this video is I wanted to really share three really great tips that always help me no matter how bad my day is again. Make it better. So let me begin. Now tip number one is get more oxygen. And also why I'm doing this video outside is um, outside you get most air, especially see how there's trees, so if you could find an area, if you live more in a city, it could be a park or something, but try to get something with scenery. A lot of trees, because they help produce fresher oxygen. And you're gonna breathe in. And not just breathing more often, but breathing deep. So try to open up your chest. Just sit. <sighs> Pushing back and take deep breaths. Or even sleeping with the window. Let's say you live in an apartment, open the window more, enjoy like that. And sometimes we all have problems breathing deep. But one thing I'll tell you is, we all yawn and it's contagious. So, <sighs> see, maybe some of you already yawn just from doing that. But when you yawn, it's not just making you more sleep. It's actually your body's way to cool off the brain and get more oxygen to your body. That's why, you ever notice when you yawn, you get a lot of oxygen, you feel that fresh breath and you feel really good afterwards. So if you can't take a deep breath for some reason, try forcing yourself to yawn. Just <sighs> even those sounds, you're gonna get a really deep breath, you're gonna feel great. And as I said, try to go in outside, especially with the weather as it is right now. Right? And uh, tip number two, it's a very simple one. It's a simple necessity just like air, but oftentimes we don't get enough of it. Especially first thing in the morning and before you go to bed and preferably before every meal, maybe 30 minutes or even right with the meal, just drink water, pure old fashioned. Because for me, basically what I drink is water and sometimes tea, see, really great. So just try drinking more water. You're gonna notice you're gonna feel a lot better. And if you could put it in the fridge, make it cold, you'll feel refreshed. Those things. And now tip number three, very important, is stretch. And why stretch? Not just for physical flexibility, but because what stretching does is ease the tension. Because a lot of times stress is held in the neck, it's held in the joints. And oftentimes you might see little kids like to uh, uh, stretch and then they feel really good. You see them smile. Well, because they're releasing tension. And as we get older, we don't do many of these things. 
from breathing, we don't drink enough water, our diet habits change, all these things. So I'm going to show you a few stretches I do to help out. These are not advanced at all. Anyone can do this probably, unless you have a serious injury. But even there, I think you can still do it. So just see it this way. Stretch all your major joints. And the big muscles. That's the big secret. Joints and big muscles. So first one is just the neck. Now you could also massage it before you start. It really helps out. And then just simply do neck circles. Such as this. See? Back and forth. Now you can turn any way you want. Left to right, up and down, side to side and such. Till you get a good enough. Now just doing that, you might feel relief already. Secondly, adjust your wrists. Put them together and stretch. Another major joint. You can move this way, it's really effective. Might be a little hard for some, but really good way to get your wrists all flexible and limbo. And your arms. Arm circles for your shoulder joints. Really nice stretch and then hold it off to the side. As you see, very simple exercises. And also since most of us walk on our feet or some might sit, still a great exercise. Just rotate the feet. We can do one at a time. And when you do this kind of push and go slow, you'll feel that really good stretch. Here and then the next one. Alright. Now this one seems like a funny dance to some people, but it's a really great exercise for your knees. So first begin rubbing them, like such, and then start moving your feet. This way and this way. Now some might find it hard to go like this, so instead maybe try this. If you're a little maybe overweight or you just have problems, and go really slow. Use your hands for support, and like such. Right, great. Next, for your overall hips, I can place your hands on the back. And just rotate. Now this will really feel good. Especially with support if you're older, or you can put here, whatever you like. It feels comfortable. And remember, if you're not as flexible, it's also a great way to stretch your hamstrings. Just go a little lower. If you need support, use back support. And then you can try lower, and then move side to side. Also stretches the hamstring. And then if you could, try holding to one side, like this, and like that. Rotate your back, and simple as that. Next way is if you could, Depends on how your legs are placed. This is a better stretch, but if you can't, you might want to do this. But let's just say for this. Anyway, almost like you're sitting in a chair. Place your hands, and you're going to push. Hold them like this way, and then turn. Really phenomenal stretch for the back. Open up the lungs. So take a breath while you're at it. And stretches the back, upper part. A little bit of the lats too. Next. Let's put your feet together and then go lower. Really opens up the hips, feels great. So if you could try to touch. If you can't, 